I really gotta take a sip of coffee before uh, we get into this one. Yep. I hate Buell. Harley Davidson's better. Buell will never be Harley Davidson. The low rider S is way faster and this bike is not gonna sell. I'm, I'm confused because these are all the things that people are saying that I said. Um, if you saw my last video where I spoke about the new Buell Super Cruiser and how I believe it's a little bit overpriced, a lot of the people skipped over all the great things I said about the bike. I spoke very highly of the bike. I am a fan of the bike at that. And I'm a huge fan of what Buell is doing at the moment as well. Now, I don't normally do this. I don't come on here and I don't address things because uh, I really don't give a shit what people think about me or whatever. <laughs> I never do, but there was just so many comments and it's like, whoa, 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 did you guys not watch the whole video? Or did you just skip around? Which I think that's what people did. Because half of the video was me talking about how great the bike is. For example, this bike that, you know, other of us could buy. possibly buy, you know? It's a really cool bike, mm -hmm. really cool bike. This one right here, I don't want to take anything away from Buell, you know, like, uh, I think what they're doing is awesome. I think the amount of coolness that bike is bringing right now in this day in this market is awesome. Um, but I think they missed the mark with the pricing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, you already have people complaining about prices on, uh, uh, on Harleys or Indians, right? Mm -hmm. There's this one. I think the bike is amazing. I, I think it looks great. I think it looks super cool. Performance driven. It's something that's like out of someone's yeah. garage. It's, it's awesome. It's nothing bad I can sit here and say about the bike, but the pricing sucks. There's this time. I don't want to take anything away from you. I think what they're doing is awesome. I think that, you know, it, it's really cool. Like I really wanted that bike. But at that price point, you're kind of missing the gap, man. Yeah. yeah, I also said that. People already complain about Harley prices. Yeah. Like, let's just say a low rider S, 20 yeah. grand. Yeah. Like, you got people complaining about that already. So it's like 26 is crazy, bro. I'm, don't get me wrong, people are going to spend it too. Oh, yeah. But how many they're, people? They're, exactly. You said people, it's 1%. There, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to buy it. But it's, is it going to be what, you know, was expected? No. I'd have to ride it. I also said this. Like I said, I'm not taking anything away from the company. I think they're doing a great job. I think their vision is, is really good. I like where they're going. I think pricing just is going to hurt them a bit. Yep. And yes, I, I just said that. Now, what I want to do is kind of talk about the bike a little more about it. Um, and then go through and read some of these comments of everything that people were saying that I said that it's absolutely false. Um, if you guys know me, and obviously a lot of you guys have been following me for a long time, you guys know that I keep it 100% honest on here. I don't bullshit, and unlike a lot of other content creators, I talk and keep it real. Even when it is about Harley Davidson, I'm probably one of the only ones who comes on this platform and kind of gives Harley Davidson a hard time at times on how they could improve their product, how they could better their bikes, what I like about their bikes, what I don't like about their bikes. And there's the reason why a lot of you guys for the last few years have been following me. It's because you trust. Does Harley Davidson pay me? No. Do they tell me what to say? No. Um, in fact, I'm pretty free to say what I want to say in my videos all the time. Even at these press launches where, you know, Thankfully, I'm, I'm invited out quite a few times. Um, we're never told what to say or not to say. In fact, I've been told in the past that one of the reasons why they like working with me is because I have such a close connection with you guys and I always keep it real. But this video isn't gonna be about calling that out. It's more so the comment section. So let's dive deep into the comment section. Now, we'll read a few of these. I'm gonna read a lot of them because there's a lot of comments. Um, how many comments did we see in the video? Uh, there's 112 comments, Jesus. Um, okay, uh, we'll go through a few of them. Uh, we'll pick some out. Um, okay, uh, someone said here, the Super Cruiser is such a cool bike, but 26 is insane. Might wait a few years for it to be out for a little while then. 
if it's still something I like, then maybe I'll trade my Lowrider ST in for it. Okay, someone agrees. Um, is it really overpriced or you can spend 10K on it to make it your own? Let us know, OW, ballpark, how much you have spent on the Rogue Glide. This person clearly hasn't watched my videos in a long time because I don't have a Rogue Glide anymore. Um, imagine 175 horsepower without anything extra their Serpico or think about a stage two just curious to see why this Buell is overpriced when it has way more power than anything out there in that category I never said that the Buell never had more horsepower than any Harley Davidson um, I have to stick to you sportsers for now maybe you should try one before reviewing I really want to review one I I'm a fan of the bike uh, think of what Harley would cost with all the third-party components on it. Yeah, or Harley-Davidson probably would be probably more expensive if most of that stuff on it. Yeah, I agree. Uh, might as well compare a Hellcat to an old station wagon. Okay. Definitely not paying that much money for a Buell. For that, I get an Indian 101, and that's the bike uh, for less money. It's just my humble opinion. Thank you for your opinion. Who's going to buy this in this economy? It will be the small percent of people. And that's, that, well, this comment, this is the kind of comment that I was kind of like, well, this is the type of mentality I had when I was talking about the bike, is that it's, the economy right now is so shitty that to come out with 26K for, you know, a bike like that, it's a lot of money. Never said it wasn't worth it. Here's a good one. Overpriced, says the guy who's gonna throw three or four brand new Harleys also and if you could slap on a 135 more than a lowrider s for six grand you can't well you can't really slap on a 135 on a lowrider s that doesn't exist it's a 131 um you still be down on performance and weigh literally hundreds of pounds more than the buell supercruiser you're right about that i'm willing to bet had you put down that 50 initial and got the two grand discount your opinion would be different don't shit on Buell just because you missed the boat. I didn't miss the boat yet. Um, we still have to November, September right now. Um, in, in fact, in the video, I stated that 23999 should be probably the highest point for that bike. Um, so, thank you. Uh, I hope so. I hate the Buell this. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Someone wrote 23K out the door. That's not out the door. You're forgetting about taxes fees, preps, um, and it's 23, 999, it's 24 actually. Uh, Harley just making FXR again already. Literally, everyone wants it. True, Harley, why you guys should be making something like this. Um, they will have to hit a number. Or, da, 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 da. There's, um, where, where's my favorite one? I think I responded to like maybe four or five of these comments out of the hundred and something. Um, I was just, they kept coming in quickly and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I'm like, and I really, I never tend to really reply to people like, and even if they, you know, they're trolling, I just troll them right back with some awesome knowledge. That's what I like to do. But this, this one here had to be my favorite. He said, Buell shot themselves in the foot. I did say that it was, I was kind of trying to be quirky and funny, trying to, you know, for the trailer part. Uh, I think he's mad. He didn't get one or didn't get access to it. Uh, this bike is so much better than the FXLRS stock or aftermarket. I actually did have a chance to check this bike out and I was going to go ride it um, when I was at the rallies and I just didn't have enough time, but I did have access to it. I still want to ride the bike. You're paying six grand over if you put that amount of money into an FXLRS. It's not going to be anywhere near the Super Cruiser. I've watched your videos for years now, bro. You're wrong about this one. Maybe I am wrong. It's just my opinion. Um, this bike is going to <clears throat> this bike is going to surprise the shit out of people. Look at it and what it has. It has almost the same frame as FXR, 170 horsepower, 100 torque, inverted front end, mono shock, uh, FXR style frame, liquid cool that could go on. You're tripping, dude. Quit being scared to tell your audience the truth. You're scared to lose anything you got going with Harley. Big L on this one, homie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this one, like this one, was my favorite because it was just so comical. Um, where, where is that line again? 
uh, quit being scared to tell your audience the truth. I actually told the audience that I love the bike. I think what Bill is doing is awesome. Um, I love everything about the bike. Uh, that I just don't like the price, and that's pretty, pretty same to say. I I would say if I think it's expensive, it, it's expensive. Um, uh, you're scared to lose anything you got going on with Harley. Once again, I I sit in this chair here plenty of times, and I I talk about all the things that I don't like about Harley. And throughout the last few years, a lot of the stuff that I spoke about that I didn't like they kind of ended up changing not saying hey they changed it because i said it but it was a multitude of people who were kind of probably saying the same thing or giving the same type of feedback um i have a, a, a voice here which i'm reaching out to thousands of people and people tune in and they listen to what i what i gotta say at times at times people don't agree with me and i'm totally fine with that at times people do agree with me and i love that um, do I get upset when people disagree with me? No, I'm open for discussions. I like to have a conversation. Let's have your opinion. I'll have my opinion and I'm open to have any type of discussion that way. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I admit it. But at the end of the day, this is my opinion on the price. Do I think the price is high? I think the price is high. It is what it is. I was expecting this bike probably to top out at 23 K if anything that, and you know, and it's not to say, cause you know what? Cause Buell is not going to sell the same amount of bikes that let's say harley davidson is selling for a low rider ass right the, the the margin in the market is just it, it's not there for buell yet i mean obviously we wanted to get there i want buell to win because if buell's winning guess what as a harley uh enthusiast that i am that means that the people over at harley are going to be making cooler bikes and who wins us the consumers that's what this discussion is kind of mainly about I also did mention in the video, hey, you know what, I, I got a low rider ST or, you know, if, if anything, you could just put a, a 131 in it. Um, a crate motor is probably going to run you 5 or 6K. I'm not, you don't have to buy a crate motor. You could just do a build up. You could do a stage four. For example, my 117, I could do a stage four on here and I'll get a, 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 an insane amount of power. Is it going to be 170 horsepower? Probably not. No, I, I never said it was going to be. And if you saw the video, I said you will gain a lot of horsepower and torque if you do a stage four on a low rider SC. I never said it was gonna be more than the other bike because it's lighter and it has a much stronger engine. Now, talking about pricing, this is what I said about the price. Here's one. I don't wanna take anything away from Buell, you know, like, uh, I think what they're doing is awesome. I think the amount of coolness that bike is bringing right now in this day, in this market is awesome. Um, but I think they missed the mark with the pricing. Now there was one other thing that I was mentioning in the last video. I think I was talking about the things that are not going to make it on the bike, which I mentioned was the, uh, the short exhaust that you guys saw on the, uh, demo bikes. Um, and I did mention in the video that if you want that exhaust, it is an option for you to buy it. $700 option. I never said there wasn't an option. I did say that it comes with the uh, ugly big as exhaust, which I did mention that it was for EPA reasons. I think it's awesome that this bike is gonna come with a saddle messy, a Memphis Shades fairing. Um, I don't know what suspension is gonna be on it. On the demo bikes, we see Olin's, but we were notified that Olin's is not gonna be the suspension that's gonna be on the bike. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be another company. Hopefully it's really good and nothing shitty like Harley suspension, which here I go, Harley has put shit suspension on their baggers for the last few years not the new ones the older ones are pretty shit um i spoke about that a bunch of times as well my suspension on my bike is good is it perfect no but it's good for now i think that pretty much covers everything i'll just end it with this you know i'll take another sip of coffee before that mm. i am a motorcycle enthusiast i'm probably a harley davidson enthusiast i am a big fan of indian i i give you guys a lot of indian content do a lot of stuff where i kind of compare Indian and Harley Davidson a lot, I do a lot of that. Um, now that Buell's in the picture, we can start talking about Buell. I'm a fan of Buell. I like what they're doing. I love their new bike. It's awesome. Do I think it's a little overpriced? Absolutely. Do I wish this bike came at $23,000 out the door? Absolutely. Now a lot of you guys are gonna get that bike for 24K. Well, after taxes and fees and a little more stuff is gonna be a little more, but yeah, that's what I was kinda focusing on 
Um, and if I'm making this video, it's because we want prices to stay low on motorcycles. We don't want prices to be twenty five, twenty six, thirty thousand dollars for a small bike, because in a few years, if all bikes are that price, then what bikes are out there for the entry level riders? What bikes are going to be out there for a secondary option? If you're going to pay top dollar, we kind of want bikes to stay cheap and low, not cheap, but affordable. Because if things start going through the roof, then you're going to be here complaining that bikes are too expensive. And that's why I'm doing this video. Take it with a grain of salt. This is what I think. Now, I intend to see this bike in person. I want to ride it. I want to give you guys my full review. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it. But once again, I think it's pretty pricey. Ah, peace. Oh, yeah, and to all the people, all the haters, thank you for watching. I appreciate the views. Monetization is on. Um, some good coffee.